Hello everyone, Mauro here. In this video, we're going to look at the new changes that Microsoft is rolling out with Windows 11 Bill 26200.5581 in the channel. And this video will also cover the changes for Bill 26120.3950 in the beta channel because these two preview bills are virtually identical. Okay, let's jump into the new changes for these preview bills of Windows 11. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Also, remember that you can check my website for more tutorials and tech news. Okay, first, let's open Windows Recall because Microsoft is testing some visual changes to the interface and there are not new elements. However, the company is switching location for the snapshot actions and the timeline slider. So as you can see on the screen, now the timeline appears at the bottom of the page and the snapshots actions will appear at the top. This is still a work in progress, so it isn't clear if eventually Microsoft is going to switch around these elements. Now, if we go to the settings app and then we go to the display settings and then we open the HDR page, if the display on your computer supports it, now the system is going to show two new settings, including the allow HDR video streaming, even when HDR is off. And there is also, and there is also the use Dolby Vision mode. Now, as part of this release, the state pill that appears under an app, as you can see right here, now is wider and more visible. In addition, Microsoft is adding a new option for network administrators to prevent users from unpinning specific apps from the taskbar. This option is available through Microsoft Intune and Group Policy Object. And finally, Microsoft is adding a new group policy setting to enable or disable the option to keep energy saver always on. And you can find the new policy using the group policy editor. So if we look for GP edit, and then if we go to computer configuration, we open the templates branch. And then if we go to windows components, actually it's on system, power management, energy saver settings. And from here, now you're going to find this new enable energy saver to always to be on policy. And this policy will allow you to keep the energy saver mode always on. And that's it. Those are the main changes that you're going to find on Windows 11 build 26200.5581 and on build 26120.3950 for the dev and beta channels. As per usual, these preview builds include a few fixes for the taskbar, audio, Windows update, and graphics. Now, let me know in the comments what you think about these changes. Like the video, share it, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.